This is democracy Somali style. A group of clan elders mulling the shape of their government over breakfast. These men have been the key to Somalia's presidential election. They're highly respected and they represent the interests of their clans. And in a country where elections are impossible, they are both the best measure of public opinion and guarantors of public support. If they decide the government to shut down the elders as they did the previous government, we know we'll go back to square one. But the way the elders play the role right now, if we have that opportunity to continue the next four years, definitely will, Somalia will be the turn around point. Let the elders from Khartoumo... The elders convened at the United Nations behest. They wanted to give the new government legitimacy lacking in every previous administration in the past 20 years. It seems the UN learned from history when British colonial rulers decided the elders were the key. They felt that using an institution will be able to maintain control. In the southern part of the country, where Italian is, they actually dismantled elder structure. And that is why the peace process came back, areas that have a more strong traditional elders. Without the moderating influence of the elders, southern Somalia fell apart. Through the 1990s, clan warfare turned the country into a byword for anarchy. So this time around, the traditional leaders also underpinned the entire political transition. Instead of a general election, they nominated the members of parliament, whose first job was to choose a president. Without the elders, he'd have no claim to legitimacy. This group of elders represents some of the minority clans, and they're trying to work out ways of formalizing their involvement in the new government. And one of the ideas they're discussing is setting up a formal upper house, a kind of senate, if you like, to pay a permanent part in the Somali government. The elders can act as both representatives of clan interests and a safety valve for clan discontent. We need a seat, a permanent seat, to represent our community in government. That's the rule we are following. Nobody can say this is the end for us because we are traditional elders. The final role of the elders is still being decided, and history tells us that they alone can't guarantee peace here. But without them, Somalia's political process would not have gotten as far as it has. The UN strategy seems to have worked. Peter Gresta, Al Jazeera, Mogadishu.